so uh, this class is primarily in voice, though I do use a note card reader as well. I hope everybody can hear me. We're also using a texture board at the front that you can follow along with. Uh, click on the Firestorm class notes and first aid kit box at the front of the room. It has some t-shirts for us to give out, as well as a bunch of other stuff, including the class notes for all of our classes. These notes get updated semi-regularly, so if you haven't been here in the past seven weeks or so, you might want to grab a fresh copy. Yeah, they haven't been updated in a while. If you're having any trouble reading the text from the note card reader, open up Preferences with Control-P or Avatar Menu Preferences and go to the Color tab. Change the color for objects to something more legible for you. If you need to adjust individual voice volumes, go to the COM menu and click on Nearby Voice to open the Nearby Voice panel. From there, adjust individual volumes by slider. If you prefer a different way to get there, feel free. That's just the easiest to explain. So before we get started on the AO material, I'd like everybody to look at the Help menu. If you've been to our classes before, you will have heard this before. If you haven't, then welcome. And um, <laughs> this is going to be the first of hopefully many times you hear this. Did you know that all menus and submenus detach and stay open if you click on the double lines at the top of the menu? This makes it much simpler to check or uncheck options and to remember and uncheck anything you happen to click on, either by mistake or to see what it does. Um, this is not a Firestorm feature. This is in pretty much every viewer, so that, that detaching trick uh, you can use anywhere. There are a couple of things that should be mentioned in the Help menu. One of them is the Firestorm wiki link, which most people can access simply by pressing F1. On Macs and some PC laptops, you may need Function F1. We have a lot of documentation there and a troubleshooting section that has answers to most of the problems that people experience. We uh, like to recommend it as the first shot for, for getting help. It may not always be easy to navigate, so uh, if you do, do need help, don't hesitate to ask, but we'll help you find the right page. So the second thing in here, about Firestorm. This opens the About Firestorm window, which shows the sysinfo as well as credits and licensing information. Team members have the ability to ping you for your sysinfo in an IM. You'd get a request to send it. Please do so. This information can help us help you solve your problems. And uh, the, if you want to take a look at what you're sending before you send it, it is right here in Help About Firestorm. So welcome to the Firestorm Client AO class. If you have any questions about the topic that we're on, please put them in local chat. Text is going to be best during the class, and we will answer as soon as we can. Please wait until after the class for any off-topic questions, as well as anything in voice. We're usually around for a half hour or more after the class to answer anything you want to know. The Firestorm viewer has a built-in AO, that is, Animation Overwriter. This makes the use of scripted AOs unnecessary, which in turn reduces the amount of scripts you wear, and so server-side lag as well. So let's take a moment to explain the terms that we're going to be using today. I bet you knew this one, but we'll do it anyway. AO stands for Animation Override or Animation Overwriter. Generally, this is a scripted attachment worn as a HUD containing animations and note cards, which along with the scripts animate the avatar while it's in certain states, such as standing, walking, flying, etc. But it does not have to be a scripted attachment, as we will cover. Without an AO, though, uh, whether it is a scripted HUD or if you're doing it through the viewer, without one, your avatar uses the basic default Linden-defined animations. In other words, you're going to be walking like a duck. The Firestorm, which is cool if you are a duck, but mm, I don't see any ducks in the class today, so. The Firestorm client AO replaces the usual scripted AO by duplicating its functions without the script overhead, or in other words, it does the same thing without scripts at all. Animation set. When we use this phrase today, it's going to mean the collection of animations which, taken together, make up any given AO. So all the animations all together that you want to use at the same time. Animation group is a little bit different. 
one or more animations which serve to replace a single animation state. So examples are going to be all the stands is one group, all the sits are one group, all the walks, etc. All of these animation groups together make up an animation set. So uh, the AO is activated by clicking on the right side of the button labeled AO in most skins. That's what it's going to look like. Um, it's a, a button with a little checkbox kind of thing in the upper right corner of the button. Uh, it'll show a check mark when it's enabled. To disable, just click on the check mark and make it go away. You can also type CAO on and CAO off in local chat. You don't need a slash or anything that stands for client AO on and client AO off. Um, if you are using the vintage skin, that's, that's when the button looks a little bit different. Uh, if you're using the vintage skin, the AO will be activated by clicking on the actual AO button on the right side of the bottom toolbar. Clicking the AO button on the other skins pops up a small window, uh, which will show up initially in the mini AO view. On the vintage skin, you get to that window by clicking on the arrow on the right side of the AO button. So here you go. This will show what the what the window looks like and mm, more or less what the button looks like. Uh, although this picture was taken on an older version of Firestorm. So this button is still what it looks like in the vintage skin, only you'll see it in the far right. Um, in any other skins, it'll say AO, but it'll have that little check checkbox thingy. So this mini AO view gives quick and easy access to a few basic functions, such as moving from one stand animation to another, toggling sit overrides, and loading a new set of animations. Uh, the window itself, by the way, has never changed, so regardless of what, what skin you're on, what version you're on, it's all going to look like this and like the larger version of it we're about to see. But this small version has a wrench icon. If you were to click that, it would open the AO window to its largest size, which allows full control of the AO, and we'll be getting to it in a minute. Um, for the moment, please leave it in this small view. Um, so using the AO, we're going to start out with sort of a tour of both the small version of the window and a large version of the window, just so that you know what all the buttons are, what all the drop-down menus do, that kind of thing. After that, we're going to go into how to load it, So just so you know what to expect. The following Firestorm AO videos are available for you to watch. Even though they are made on an old version of Firestorm, we strongly suggest watching them, especially if we get through this class and things still sound really, really confusing. Um, they do show physically how to load the AO. Uh, they were made by Ziri, the creator of the uh, Firestorm AO. They are Import to AO Part 1, Customize your AO Part 2, and Options in AO Part 3. For those watching this on YouTube, um, try going to the start page of our wiki and there will be links to these toward the bottom. Basic functions of the AO can be accomplished via this mini AO view. Currently loaded animation set, uh, referring to the image on the screen, this currently loaded set is named A, so it's in that little drop down type thing. Um, that A actually represents an animation set. If you click on the small down arrow, you can easily select another set if others are available, of course. If you haven't loaded anything in there, obviously nothing will be showing in that drop-down menu. Now the wrench icon, as I mentioned, uh, will expand the mini window to full size for greater control, and we'll get back to that shortly. The left and right arrows um, underneath that little drop-down, we'll switch to the previous and next animation and the current group, respectively. And there's a sit checkbox, which indicates whether the AO should override sit animations that are part of scripted furniture. If this is enabled, then the AO will try to force the use of whatever sit animation you have in the animation set. If disabled, then the animation in the furniture will be used. Please note that animation priority will always have precedence. 
So if the animation in the furniture was uploaded with a higher priority than the one in your animation set, then it doesn't matter how you have this checkbox set, it'll be used. Whatever has higher priority will be used. And this priority is set at upload, can't be changed afterward, even by the creator. It's not something that you go into an edit window and change. Um, it's actually part of the animation itself, so it can only be changed if the creator uploads it all over again and sets a different priority. All right, now, now you get to click the wrench button. So for greater control over the AO, click that wrench icon and it'll open the AO window to maximum size, as you can see on the screen. So now we're just going to go over what we see in the bigger version. The current animation set is shown in the top drop-down. Clicking the down arrow beside it allows for the selection of an alternate animation set, if you have others available, of course. Uh, so yeah, you can, you can load as many AOs into this as you like. So uh, for instance, I've got, I've got two different uh, human AOs, and I've got one penguin AO. I'm a penguin sometimes. Um, so uh, you can just switch to them really, really easily by opening up this window and selecting it in the drop-down. You can also rename the AO set here if you want. So if you decide you want to change it, just click the name and change it to what you want it to be. The check mark to the right of the animation set name will activate the animation set. So click this if you've picked a new one. Now I want to explain the word activate here real quick. It does not mean turn on and off. It means start that new one working if you want to change between sets. Turning the actual AO on and off is done with the button that we talked about earlier, the one that actually says AO on it. It's not in this window. Uh, or by using the command line CAO on and CAO off. So the default checkbox. Check this if you wish to make the current animation set the default when you start Firestorm. Override sits does the same thing as the sits checkbox described above. Uh, it's the same thing, just in a different place. Be smart. If this is enabled, the AO will try to determine whether the furniture being sat on has an animation. If it determines that it does, it'll disable the sit in the AO so the one in the furniture will be used instead. So ideally, uh, what this would do is if you're overriding sits and you want to check be smart, and what it will try to do is if you're sitting on the benches like the ones here in the uh, in the classroom uh, which don't have any scripts in them which don't have any animations then ideally you would end up sitting in your AO sit whereas if you were to sit on a um, on a scripted chair you'd be using the chairs poses now it doesn't always work perfectly so just be prepared for that but that's what it is supposed to do Disable stands in mouse look. If this is checked, the AO will disable stands animations when mouse look is entered, which is useful for combat situations, for example. There's a plus button here, which um, you don't need to click yet. We'll cover it uh, in better detail later, but this is the button that you would be clicking in order to manually define a new animation set. This is the Here's a trash can. It's the first of two trash cans in the AO window. This one is for deleting the current animation set. Uh, it, it, provided you load your AO properly, uh, this, uh, what this would do is simply remove the AO from use in the Firestorm AO. Um, as long as your animations are loaded correctly, it won't delete anything directly from your inventory. Animation group. This is the second drop-down, and with this one you can select an animation group, such as standing, walking, running, etc. Once you select one, and you see the uh, animations fill that little window in the middle, then you can change the order in which the animations are played by using the up and down arrows to the right of the center window. This moves a currently selected animation up or down in the list, thus changing the order in which the animations are played in the animation group. So in other words, after you have your AO loaded, which we'll get to in the next part of the class, um, you'll be able to customize it further. You can move the uh, animations around, you can um, rename it, and you can do this if you decide that there's just one animation in there that 
you decide you actually don't like very much, you can just trash that one animation. Um, so clicking this second trash can in here will delete the currently selected animation from the animation group. It does not delete the animation itself as long as it was loaded correctly. All it does is remove the reference to it from the group. There is a cycle checkbox. Enabling this will cause a different animation to be played from the selected group at each cycle time interval. And a randomize order option. I will get to that Fitch. Don't worry, it is very much part of this, and I will, I, I will speak in underlines and italics when we get there. Um, so randomize order uh, lets you, uh, uh, causes the animations in the selected group to be played in random order, as I bet everyone guessed. Cycle time indicates how long an animation should play before the next one begins. Set this to zero to disable. Um, by the same token, if you want your stands, for instance, to cycle, you need to both have the cycle checkbox checked and have a cycle time typed into the cycle time box. Both of those need to happen for the cycling to occur. The reload button forces the AO to reload the configuration of the current animation set. Um, you don't always need to click this in order to, to get things working, but sometimes uh, it needs a little shove. And so clicking reload will take care of that. So, and then you've got the left and right arrows at the bottom, which skip to the previous and next animation in the current animation group. They're the same ones that we saw when we were looking at the mini AO view described previously. And finally in here is the down arrow. The arrow in the bottom right corner collapses that full AO window into the mini view, which we already described. Um, we're going to be mostly working in this uh, larger view from here on out, though, so um, for the moment, please just leave it in the maximized view. So um, we're next going to talk about loading. So are there any qu other questions before we uh, start moving on to that? Cool. And I don't see any typing, so let's just move on into loading. So if you own a scripted AO, the kind worn as a HUD attachment, you can transfer it to the client AO quite easily following the steps that we're about to go over. There are actually three different methods we're going to talk about, um, any of which you can use. Multiple AOs can be loaded, and you can switch from one to another simply by selecting the set within the Firestorm AO. And Two of the methods that we're going to be talking about involve using a note card. One of them does not. So if you end up using one of the note card methods, then just bear in mind that it has to be in standard Zhao 2 format. Most current AO creators support this format, so you probably won't run into issues. But uh, it must be noted that some major vendors have extended the Zhao 2 format, and so they're AO note cards would need to be edited before being used in the Firestorm AO, and there are also older AOs that use the old Zhao format, which have to be converted. Uh, my opinion is if you need, if the note card is not already how you need it to be, then use the non-note card method. That's my opinion. When Phoenix, or actually it was Emerald way back then, uh, came out with the client-side AO, it had to use a note card. And my note card was not in Zhao 2. I had to go through the whole thing and fix it. And that was no fun. So I am pleased to tell you that you don't have to do the same thing I did. So, alrighty. So if you're used to the Phoenix AO, um, then this is a, an important note. Um, the animations and note cards don't need to be placed in any particular predefined folder for Firestorm. However, they do need to be together in the same place. And here comes that loading properly warning. <laughs> here's, the, here's one of the very few things you can do to totally screw up this AO. Please do not place them directly into the Firestorm AO folder. When we load them, it's all going to take place in the AO window, not the folder in your inventory. Now, once it's imported, you'd be able to go into that Firestorm folder 
and find that Firestorm will have created a new special folder called Hashmark AO. Uh, that folder is protected, so it can't be deleted. Items can't be removed from it. Um, so avoid dragging anything into it. If you do that by mistake, please refer to our wiki at that FSAO folder link to see how to fix this. Um, so what I was saying before is if the animations are not loaded properly, that is to say if you've dragged them directly into the folder rather than going through this window, then emptying, then, then uh, trashing anything <laughs> before you remove them will end up in the animations being deleted. So just don't do that. Um, basically, the window will do everything you need it to do. There's no need to fool around in the folders itself. So inside the Hashmark AO folder, there are going to be several more folders containing links to the original animations. So uh, here's the other thing that you don't want to do. Uh, this AO runs on links. So don't delete the original animations or the AO itself will break. It will be unusable. Um, also, don't box them up. Um, if they're no copy, you're not going to be able to put them back into a HUD. Uh, they're only going to be able to exist in one place or the other. I think you get the idea. So let's uh, move along and talk about our three methods. Let me give you a broad idea of what comes next. There are basically two steps to each of these methods. The first step involves getting animations out of a HUD and into your inventory. The second step involves getting them out of the inventory and into the AO, the Firestorm AO. So that's what we're covering right now. So for method one, this is the one, that, the method that you're going to need to use if you're in a location where you can build because it requires the ability to res out. I'll be going through this one relatively quickly just because no one can res out here. Um, it's also the method that you will need to use if the animations in your AO are no copy. So here's what you would do. You would res a cube on the ground. If you're wearing the AO, you would detach it. You would cam in on the cube that you made and then drag the AO onto it out of your inventory. You're just resing it. Um, but you're resing it on the cube just because HUDs are normally very small when they're resed in world, so they can be hard to see if you're not cammed in. The use of the cube is just to provide you with a target. You would next right-click the AO that you resed out and select Open. A uh, window opens, which will list the contents of the AO. You let it populate and you click copy to inventory. It is just like emptying a box or, well, unpacking a box, really. So this results in the creation of a folder in your inventory containing everything in the AO, scripts, animations, and note cards. And then if the AO is copyable, you would be able to delete it. Uh, otherwise, you take it back into your inventory and just delete the cube because we don't like littering. The next thing that you would do, so that, that would be that first part that I was explaining, getting the animations out of the HUD and into the inventory. In this case, you would be doing it as if you were unpacking a box. Here's the second part, getting the, the uh, animations to be recognized by the AO. Locate the folder that was created in the step above. This folder can be dragged to another folder where it's going to be out of the way but still available, like, oh, animation folder would be logical, right? We're talking animations. Inside the folder, locate the note card which defines the AO. There might be more than one. Um, just make sure that it's one that says standing, walking, running, flying, etc. All the basic stuff, not fancy stuff. Uh, open the Firestorm AO to maximum. And then all you would do is drag the AO note card out of your inventory and onto the Firestorm AO window. I slowed down there because that's the key part. Then the note card gets parsed by the viewer, by the uh, client AO, and if all goes well, you will have finished transferring the AO. And then you get to select all your options, like whether it's your default set, whether you want to override sits and all that. So that is method one, which, as I said, I went through quickly because 
you can't do it here. Um, so if you if you are using no copy animations and you need to do it someplace else, um, you can hang on to the notes. You can check out our wiki. You can uh, replay this on YouTube at some later time. Whatever you want to do, uh, or you can use Z's um, videos to do it. Method two, you can do here. So I'm going to go a little bit more slowly. You can follow these steps if you're unable to res the AO out in world for whatever reason. Like if you're in a no res area like this. First you're going to locate the animations folder in your inventory. It's going to be near the top, at or near the top. Right click the folder name and select new folder. This by the way is the method that, that uh, I would recommend using if you are um, just going to be using the animations directly from a HUD. Uh, that is to say, you're not uh, going to need to edit your note card in any way or add animations that are not all together in one folder already. Okay, so um, basically just start by creating a folder in your inventory. Type in the name for the folder. For instance, it might be practical to give it the name of the AO that you're about to transfer. In this case, the AO HUD should be worn. Right click the HUD on your screen and put it into edit. Edit window opens up. Click on the content tab and uh, wait for all of the AO contents to display. Once they're all there, have your inventory open, have your edit window open, Select all of the items in the AO. Click on the top one. Use your scroller to scroll to the bottom of the edit window, of the content tab of your edit window. Press and hold the shift key and click on the last item. And uh, yes, scripts, well actually you don't, you're not going to need the scripts in the AO, but it's easier just to grab everything than to pick and choose. Um, if they're copy, it shouldn't make a difference. Um, so press and hold the shift key to uh, uh, while you're clicking on the last item and then everything will be selected all at once. Much easier than doing it one by one. Once everything is selected, drag all the items into the folder you created in your inventory. Just left click anywhere on those selected items and drag them out of your HUD and into your inventory. They'll actually be copied, not just dragged over since uh, you wouldn't be able to use this method if there are no copy anyway. Um, so you do need to include the animations and note cards in this. You can skip the scripts if you want to, but honestly it's easier just to include everything all at once. Alternatively, you can get them from the HUD into your inventory by clicking on the folder icon in the contents tab and drag it into your inventory to copy all the items at once. You can do it either way. And then you're done with the HUD so you can close the edit window. So go back to that folder in your inventory and locate the note card which defines the AO. Uh, as I said before, there may be more than one. Um, if you see multiple note cards in there, then uh, just open one, see if it's got running, walking, standing, um, flying basic stuff. If it does, then you can use that one. You may decide that a different one is your main one later on. If there are no note cards, then sit tight and the manual method will be for you. You don't actually need a note card to load this. It's just uh, faster. Alright, so next open up the Firestorm AO to maximum. And all you have to do is drag that note card onto the Firestorm AO window. And that is it. The note card is parsed and if all goes well you will have finished transferring the AO. You can select the options to apply. Uh, this is going to sound familiar, like whether this will be the default animation set, whether to override sits, and so on. Um, so that's, that's all there is to method two. We'll cover the manual method next, but first a couple of notes. As noted above, the Firestorm AO supports note cards in the standard Zhao 2 format. Your copy of the class notes contains an example of what the note card looks like 
and I'm putting it on the screen as well. Uh, in this sample, um, you'll see that the animation state is in brackets, square brackets, not the uh, round ones that Americans call parentheses, um, followed by each name of the animation separated with a pipe character. That's that vertical line above your Enter key. Lines should not be longer than 255 characters. There is no actual limit to the number of animations you can use in here, so um, if you have more animations than you can fit on one line and you do want to use the note card, um, then see how in the sample note card the animations in the standing group have been broken up into several lines so that they're shorter and easier to read, but they all say standing at the beginning. If you're using a note card, then it's actually best to delete any and all lines containing comments before loading the client AO. And those comment lines are the ones that start with a hash mark or pound sign character. However, there is also a way of loading the AO manually. So this is really, really handy if, um, for instance, like might be the case with Ravija, um, or if you don't have a note card in the AO that you just are trying to load, or if there's a note card, but as happened to me a couple of years ago, there uh, it was in Zhao format instead of Zhao 2, then uh, manual is good. You don't have to use a prepared AO with a note card. You can roll your own if you have animations to use. This is also a good option if you don't want to use a prepackaged AO. If you'd rather use a custom set of animations that you, you know, you pick up a few from this store and a few from that store and a few from, you know, you're some random person. Um, you can uh, roll them all into one with the manual method a lot more easily than you would be able to edit a note card. Um, I don't remember exactly, Dex, uh, but the difference is going to be in the way that the, um, um, like, like you, you'd be able to tell the difference pretty easily. Like the one on the screen, you've got open bracket, space, standing, space, close bracket, and then each animation separated by nothing but a pipe character. Yeah, it's a difference in formatting. So it's, it's perfectly possible to edit Zhao into Zhao 2. It's just annoying. It's, uh, so if you don't have to do it, don't do it. So, um... You can use the animations from a scripted AO, just like we talked about. Um, just use one of the methods that we already discussed for getting them out of your present AO. So the method we're about to talk about, you can uh, use in combination with the methods that we already discussed. Another good use for the ma manual method we're about to cover is that even if you use a note card method to initially load the AO, you can add more animations later with the manual method. So um, it's, it's all kinds of nifty. So for this one, you're going to need the AO window at maximum size. Click on the plus button near the top right corner to create a new animation set. You'll be prompted to supply a name for it. And then a new blank animation set gets created. So make sure it's showing in the list of animation sets and then you can begin to fill it. So it starts with standing group selected. So just make sure that you have that animation set selected in the upper drop-down, and then make sure that you have standing selected in the lower drop-down in the same window. So go to your inventory, select the animations you want to use as stands, and then all you have to do is drag those animations from your inventory and onto the AO window. It is faster to drag them all in at once rather than one by one. Just make sure that you're only grabbing stands at the moment. Um, the AO processes and then you can continue. Once you've dropped all the stands in, then go to the lower of the two drop downs and switch from standing to a different animation group, walking for instance. Make sure you've got walking showing there. Then go back to your inventory, find all your walks that you want to load in, and drag them from your inventory onto the AO. And just repeat that for all of the groups for which you have animations. And 
that's that's it. That's all there is to the manual method. Then you get to select the options that you want to apply, um, like whether it's going to be the default animation set, whether to override sits, etc. So as I mentioned, you can add animations to an already existing set this way as well, regardless of how you loaded the AO initially. All you need to do is make sure that the set that you want to add to is showing in the upper drop-down, make sure the correct group is showing in the lower drop-down, and then just drag those animations on in. So are there uh, any questions on loading the AO? I think I know what your question is about to be, Gator. Uh, no, actually, the, since the, um, the animations have to be in your inventory, so, your, so each AO is only going to apply to the um, account that owns the animations. Um, so the one that you uh, load on your Gator account isn't, going, isn't even going to show up on the other account. So um, your, your other account will be loading their own AO separately. Uh, yeah, yeah, if, uh, let's say you've got stands and walks, but, well, if you have, if you've got stands and walks, but you, uh, don't have any fly animations, then yes, when you fly, you're still going to be using the Linden default. Yeah, pre-jumping, you can sometimes find uh, find animations for that. Uh, they're not super duper common, but uh, carry. I don't actually know. Um, I I I think there was a well, there was there was somebody in the class uh, who who used to come to our classes a lot who was determined to figure it out, and she discovered at least that RLV um, overrides this AO. Um, I think she was struggling with it, with using it to replace the open collar AO, but I'm not sure. Absolutely, Fitch. Uh, the question is, can you use it for as a dance HUD? Um, you're not going to be able to invite other people to dance with you. You're not going to be able to use it for couples dances, but you can use it for individual dances. Um, and it's awesome that you asked that. So here's how you do it. If you want to use this as a dance HUD, simply create a, create a, a new set the manual way by hitting that plus button. Name it something obvious like dances or whatever. And then you can just load the dances in under the standing category. Uh, or sitting, if you prefer. Um, and then uh, when you go someplace uh, to dance, just open up your AO, switch from your regular set to your dance set, and then uh, whenever you're in standing mode, you will be using your dances. If you want a little bit more, um, if you want a little bit more control over that, you can load them in as sits, and then um, you can use the one of the sit commands under the avatar um, movement menu, like sit down or force ground sit to put yourself in a sit, and uh, it'll be playing the dance animations instead. So yeah, but as long as you as long as you're okay doing that for just individual dances, you're not going to be able to invite anybody to dance. So there is also one option related to the Firestorm AO in your preferences, and that is Turn Avatar Around When Walking Backward. It's located in Preferences, Move and View, Firestorm. And if you have that enabled, then when you press the down arrow to walk backward, your avatar turns to face the camera. And if it's disabled, then your avatar will just walk backward. Now here's, here's a bit more important. Uh, information that you may find useful. 
The Firestorm client AO info is stored in your inventory, so it's usable from any computer you log in on, just like a regular HUD-based AO, just as long as you're on Firestorm. So any more questions? So that is to say that it's not going to get lost in a clean install or anything like that. You can load all five of them in Gator. Uh, just do them separately, so the, under different names. And uh, when you switch between them, all you need to do is use the uh, upper of the two drop downs. Or, well, actually, you can access that menu from the mini AO view as well. Yeah, I've got four in there the, uh, the two human ones, the penguin one, and a practice one for when we have questions that I need to experiment with in order to answer. So, yep, you can you can absolutely have, there's no limit to how many animations you use and no limit to how many separate sets you load in. None at all. It's pretty spiffy. So if there aren't any more questions uh, on topic at the moment, then I'd like to thank everybody uh, personally and on behalf of the team for coming to the class and for using the viewer. We do believe that the users are the reason that our viewers are as popular as they are. Y'all deserve the credit. Uh, so even though I'm reading that off, um, I, I have full leave to change that if I ever start to disagree with it. So thanks a lot for putting the time into coming to the class tonight.